Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Silent Core, and I can proudly present if I just spin round an epic slow motion, but I don't have slow motion, so I'll just do it like this. <laughs> the epic mech's cape, I finally got it. And as you can see, I'm now 99 in all skills, which is actually something pretty crazy. I never thought I'd ever get 99 in all skills. And I'm actually really dying to see the mech's cape, and what I've actually not seen it yet, I did try to do it in the, the lag fest that was my max party, but I couldn't see a, a single thing of it. But uh, let's give it a shot, hopefully we'll be able to do it here. And yeah, that's a pretty damn epic emote, I've got to say. <laughs> and to be totally honest with you guys, I'm actually a little bit confused on what to do now. I mean, I'm, I'm 99 everything, there's not really much point in me training skills for rank or to get up high scores or anything, I'm not really that bothered about it. And there was a few people saying I should go for a completion escape, which uh, just the requirements for the completion escape just sounds so tedious and just repetitive and not very fun at all. I just don't really see the point in uh, grinding out things like that. I mean, skills were okay. I kind of like training them up, but when it comes to when it comes to doing stuff like completion escape requirements, I just you know especially like the trim the one with all those Castle Wars games. It's just like why are they so? I don't see why the the requirements are so high and tedious. And one thing I don't really understand is why they're they're always making skills easier. Like if you notice every update, you know Rune Span made Rune Crafting easier, Bonfires made Fire Making easier. They're always making skills easier, but I doubt they'll ever make things like completion escape requirements easier. And they're the really really tedious ones. So for you guys that missed the live stream, I'll go through a quick run through of what kind of happened. So this was, I recorded this before the actual live stream, and I did all the Lumbridge and Draenor tasks just so I could get a lamp to use, and I also had a couple of lamps from uh, two random events, because I obviously wanted to get 99 Prayer, 99 Summoning, and 99 Slayer, and 99 Slayer and Summoning were kind of hard ones to get, so I just wanted to get those ones with lamps. And for Prayer, obviously, I could just bury a bone, so that was kind of easy to get on the spot. And right at the start of the live stream, I decided to have a bit of a, a naked people unite where we all go in the clothes shop and change our characters to be naked with uh, the plain clothes and raw onion colour. And uh, there was actually a, a lot of freaking naked people running around. It was pretty, it's actually pretty funny. So here's me getting the first level. I buried a bone to get 99 prayer. And the second one was summoning, so I used my lamp on that and got 99 summoning. And then lastly, I used a random event lamp to get 99 slayer. And I put my private chat on, on when I got that, because I think you have to have your private chat on for it to appear in the newsfeed, and you see it there for just a few seconds before it gets spammed out from all the from all the spam there. <laughs> and here's me buying the Maxcape. I was actually about a mil short, so thanks to, I think it was PVM Spooky who gave me, I think it was about a mil to get uh, the Max Cape. So uh, I took a donation there, I'm sorry. <laughs> so for the kind of after party, I decided I wanted to go on the beta server and do a Castle Wars game, because... Uh, most of you guys already know that the Castle Wars on the beta server is a requirement for the new Mad Scientist outfit that's coming out. So I figured we might as well kill two birds with one stone, so here's me uh, maxing again on the beta servers. I mean, who can say they got maxed twice in one day, right? So this was us in Castle Wars, it was a pretty epic Castle Wars game, there was an absolute ton of people. We had a full 20 minute game, and at the end I think it was three all, so it was a draw, so, uh, so it was a pretty fair epic battle. So really a massive thanks to all you guys for the support, really from the bottom of my heart it does mean so much to me. And you might just think it's some silly levels in a game, but really it's something I've been working for for a, a very long time, for a lot of hours put into this game. In fact, let me just check out exactly how many. So here's my adventure log with an absolute disgusting amount of hours, 325 days, which is pretty ridiculous. I, I worked that out at just nearly 8,000 hours played in game. And it's probably like double that when, <laughs> when you take into consideration uh, all the time spent making videos and stuff. And I don't really have the best time played ratio for getting max cape. I've never really been one for freaking out about wasting XP's or using mouse keys. I've never really used mouse keys, so I've always just kind of played at my own pace and just enjoyed the game. And after my max party event, I was actually planning on doing like a big epic Minecraft event and having maybe like a, a Hunger Games where all you guys could join in and we could have like one big epic battle in a kind of rune, a runescape map I was trying to go for, but I couldn't actually find any runescape maps that did Hunger Games, so maybe I could look into that, and that would be a really cool event to do, maybe on live stream, if any runescape Hunger Game maps do exist. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.